This is Janet Stone. Here I am joining you. Thank you for joining me. Wanted to take uh, some time and actually give a full focus on sustainability and a conversation around sustainability. Right now, most obviously, maybe you've tuned in and you hear the word climate crisis. And for a while it was global warming and for a while it was climate change. Um, and it very rapidly, really rapidly for um, reasons we can see really clearly, especially living here in Northern California, it's truly on fire presently at this moment where other people are underwater, um, where other people are having typhoons and uh, hurricanes that are, are beyond our previous imagination. So I tune in for a moment and why a yoga teacher speaking about sustainability, you know, where does it fit in the relationship with our practice of yoga? Well, that's why I'm here. If you think about it, this planet has been in a process of evolution for billions of years, billions of years. We have been here but a flash, a moment. And in that time, we've also evolved. There's been an evolution where um, things have become definitely more easeful. We've uh, definitely developed an intellect, um, an understanding of science, um, grasping on to belief structures, um, some of them to our benefit, some of them to detriment. And I'm here to simply offer this relationship and connectivity of how our yoga practice as an individual on a mat or mat free can become active in the process of their own body and being sustainability along with the planets. So if we think about yoga in its greater context, when we pull back from chaturangas and handstands, which were not yoga, actually, for the thousands of years yoga was practiced. It's only a couple 150 years old that we started adding in movement, which is beautiful and I love and I celebrate. But if we think about it in its larger context, so much of it about um, sustaining our prana, our life force, and a way to preserve and not um, spend it all out like you're just raining life force understanding that we have an arc that we all go through, and some of it have many undulations, but that if we tend to ourselves along the path, that means in the nutrients that we take in and what we surround ourselves with and how we participate in our environment and also our internal world, um, that there's a capacity and a possibility that we can create longevity, sustainability, an even sense of energy, the mind's not flinging up and down. But if you see what's happened in yoga, it's sort of turned into another market and another place to um, sell things and um, have more stuff and even more postures and more pranayamas and more mantras or whatever the thing might be. But really in this way, when we start to tune the dial inward, that we recognize and take the time to see what we do have and all that we are and any sense of lack that we live with this feeling that we're not enough so that we have to go out and grab more and consume more and buy more and have all of the conveniences maybe slows down a little bit that we recognize that as we are we're enough and we live even for moments in this magical land of enoughness. And that penetrates out. And then if you share the practices of yoga, it's not about consumption yoga or what you see um, being sold or what's uh, on Instagram per se, even though you might be seeing this there. And that is that you can take this into your hands and really take heart about sustainability for your own being. And as a voice, those who practice yoga can really kind of get about the hard work of being willing to face the inconveniences of um, being mindful about what we take in, what we take, and where we take it from, and where it comes from. 
That's to say being mindful of the food that we put in our body. You know that we're eating mostly pesticides these days and plastics. They say now most animals, sea animals for sure, and we eat sea animals and also we eat other foods that have um, microplastics in them and we're now filling ourselves with our own garbage. And so how do we actually become mindful of um, those we put into a political office, of um, what we're participating in, essentially in the larger picture of our lives? And so many of us, again, are, are more conscientious and more thoughtful and you know, it's not asked to bear all of the weight of the whole planet. If you go to India, you see a lot of garbage everywhere. You go to China and there's no garbage anywhere, yet they produce a ton. It's just hidden in Japan. Everything is quadruple wrapped in plastic. And so, you know, at the moments that it starts to feel helpless is when we link arms, we come together. And we as a community or you as an individual and your people around you and your people around them, and for me, you know, one of, one of the journeys is about the very first principle of yoga, the yamas and the very first yama, ahimsa, that every action and every, every item has an effect. And to reduce the amount of harm that we cause, whether you create an, and adopt a plant-based diet, um, whether you consider where the sources of your food comes from, like truly consider it, not just like, oh yeah, I think it's grass-fed, pasture-raised, but really start to consider and bring forth your attention. So just a moment to tune in. I'm going to dedicate and have been dedicating um, my years, thanks to my parents and, and their amazing example that they set living off the land and doing their best to take as little as possible. And within the realm and within the reality of the life that I live, just making the choices that I can make and sharing the message as I can share it, that we are all actually interconnected, that the planet's health is our health and our health is the planet's health. So what are we going to do? Tune in to... Uh, Greta and let her at 16 try to save the world. Yes, and we're going to activate. And as much as you can, wherever you can, whatever you can participate in, find organizations that you can support. Um, I'm backing all the way the Natural Resource Defense Council, NRDC, because they're on the front lines of laws being made and laws being torn down, um, restrictions being pushed back, rolled back, and they're doing their best to, to support this planet so that it can support our life. So wishing you just great fortitude and strength on this uh, individual journey of sustainability and sustainability, how it ripples out into um, the world around us. Pick an angle, pick a cause, however you want to do it, plant some trees, um, plant some lavender for some bees, whatever angle you want to go, there is an option for you to participate and to engage fully. So thank you for joining me for this yoga and sustainability conversation and look forward to hearing from you what you're up to and the ways in which you want to participate. Thank you. Om, Om Namah Shivaya.